My name is Jason Parker, and I'm a 17-year veteran of Enterosis Networks. Today, we are going to discuss the feature Port Protected and how to configure it on a C2. The main purpose of the Port Protected feature is to prevent ports from porting traffic to each other, even if they belong on the same VLAN. By default, all ports are unprotected. So in our example, we will create a group number, give it a unique name, and then we will assign the ports to the group. Please note that once a port belongs to a group, it cannot belong to a second group. So let's begin. First, we will log into our switch. Now that we have access to the switch, we'll use two ports that are lo located in VLAN 1, and they are ports GE1.7 and GE1.9. When we are configured properly, these PCs will not be able to reach each other. On the far right, you'll have PC196.26 is trying to be ping 196.22. He resides on port 7. We also have 196.22 pinging 196.26, which is on 1.9. We also have a third PC that is pinging both 196.26 and 196.22, that's 196.20.5, and he resides on port 1.24. The first, the first command we'll type in is set port protected name, so the group is 2 and the name is no talk. Next we'll assign the ports. As you can see on the far right, the two PCs, 196.26 can no longer ping 196.22, and 196.22 cannot ping 196.26, yet 196.5 can ping both stations, so it blocks the two ports from talking but allows other ports to talk to it. To disable this feature, we will set the command clear port protected. GE.1.7 and 9. And as you'll see, the ping's replies return. This concludes the procedure on how to configure the port protected feature. If there are any questions, please contact the GTAC at 1 800 872 8440. Thank you and have a great day.